this is Anne. I have a quick little project to share with you. I made a layout for myself yesterday. And so this is actually the stand that I painted to match the frame that I used for my layout. And this is just a regular wooden stand, guys. So all I did, I sanded and painted it with some pink acrylic paint. And I brushed vintage photo distress ink all around it, you know, to make it a little bit vintage and chubby. And over here, the stand came with a a piece of string you know to hold it open like that and I don't like that so I took it out and I just um, used ribbon instead so that's what I did to the stand and this is the layout that I made let me move the camera out guys so it looks like that and my sister took um, the photo of me when we were on a trip together and I kind of like that picture so I used it and this is just a small frame guys inside it's like seven by five inches and I like to work with like small um, space you know so um, I'm not good at 12 by 12 layout at all and I kind of like these I actually use the frame like this let me show you this one just a regular wooden frame and you know all I did I sanded and painted it and over here I like that it has some depth into it like this so you know I can build my layout to be a little bit more dimensional and it has no glass or anything and I like this so I used the frame and I didn't really plan to use like you know any specific um, paper collection or anything I just used whatever that I had made before and I used the paper for the background here is Kaiser Craft and the name of the paper is Kissing Booth I think it's the Kissing Booth collection or something looks like this really pretty paper and all I did I just crumple it up and hot glue it on you know so when you touch it it has some texture like it's up and down it's not smooth you know and I like that and for the photo here I just printed it out on matte photo paper I back it up with some cardstock and I use this little post strand to frame the photo and then what else um, over here these other butterflies that I punch out from the scrap paper I think it's the say la vie um, paper I just punched the butterflies out using Martha Stewart punches and I like that a lot guys I layer them and put glitters on each one so you know it's like glittery like this not sure if you could see but I used three on my layout here and then over here um, I just used some shipboard pieces from Prima Nature Garden and you know the picture I was on a train so I like that um, that these ones say admit one ticket you know it's just like a train ticket or something and over here this little butterfly it said this moment so I like that and on the top here I use big piece of chipboard and it said beautiful so I put the word journey down here and what I did I used the um, alphabet sticker that I got like more than seven or eight years ago I I think it's really really long guys I got these when I first started to scrap and I still had it so it looks like this and you guys see it's really old so when I peel it out the sticky part didn't come out it just like the top layer came out you know so what I did I hot glue the letter on a piece of cardstock and punch it out with uh, the little circle punch and then I put diamond stickers all around the circle and put like lots of glossy accents on these letters so I did like two coats you got you know so it's like really dimensional when you look at it in person I don't know if it would show on the camera but it looks beautiful and I like it a lot and then over here I just hot glue the letter each letter on these little fluffy crochet trim and the trim came like these guy I got these like a while ago looks like these and it's too wide so what I did I cut them apart I used the bottom here to glue um, the letter on and then the top part I just glue it on the top corner here so you know just to add something to the layout and then um, I used this pearl spray and what else let me see over here these are some eyelid lace that I just do um, I did running stitches and hot glue it on I made these flower 
um, you know, a while ago. So I used one here and I add some more um, paper roses here. You know, I put stickers on them so they look like a little bit glittery and I like it. So, and I just add a little bow right here. So that's the top corner and then at the bottom here, I made these little flower from cotton fabric. And you know, I like how it came out guys. So I just glue it on and I use some more paper flowers here. All I did, I brushed um, some vintage photo ink on it and put diamond stickers on each one of them. And then over here, I just made another bow and hot glue it on. So um, that's all I did. I added um, some pearl sin um, flower center here. And then over here, guys, I try to find a spot for journaling. And you know, because the frame is pretty small, um, I just did a little thing here and I could tuck it in behind this piece of chipboard. So this is just a piece of scrap paper that I had. And what I did, I roll it up and I wrote little notes inside and it just said you know I was on a train from Germany to France and it's um, the dead and year so it's just a note to myself and all I did I roll it up tie it with a piece of fabric that I had just you know little scrap it's just like this and then I tuck it in behind these big shipboard pieces and it stay guys so um, I like this idea and I like that it kind of like add something to this corner here because it's so empty and you know when I put it on the stand they match so really like how it came out guys so um, that's it everyone. Um, it didn't take long to make, you know, pretty quick and easy. I built the layout right on the frame itself and I love how it turned out. Let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching my video guys. I really appreciate all the lovely comments and you know, I hope I'll see you soon. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.